Now, Cosmic Ocean came out a while ago, so I'm a little late on giving you guys an update to your big fish decks. Let's just say I had bigger fish to fry. So we have many cards that can be splashed into your fish decks. First up is Abyss Shark. Abyss Shark can only special summon itself if all the monsters you have on the field are water monsters. And if you do, you can add one level 3, 4, or 5 fish monster from your deck to your hand except Abyss Shark. For the rest of the turn, you cannot special summon monsters except water monsters. Now this card will be used to add Leaf Fish to your hand in order to send Coelacan to the graveyard, but you can also use this card to bait Ash Blossom if you don't need this card to start your combo. And because it's at level 5, we can use Foolish Goods and Ice Barrier to search for this card. The Water Lock on Ice Barrier and Abyss Shark means your extra deck will have to be mostly Water Monsters. And next up is Crystal Shark. Crystal Shark can also be searched for by Abyss Shark, and Crystal Shark is a free discard cost because Crystal Shark can special summon itself from the graveyard. So this is pretty useful if you need to activate Coelacan's effect. Crystal Shark also turns Leafish into a one card egg Z. You can use Leafish to dump Crystal Shark into the graveyard, then special summon Crystal Shark from the graveyard by targeting Leafish and special summoning it. And the way that Crystal Shark special summons itself is by targeting one water monster on the field. Even on your opponent's side of the field, you can turn your opponent's monsters into water using Stealth Kragen. Now both Crystal Shark and Abyss Shark can be used as level 3 or 5. If used for the Eggsy summon of a number monster, we will mostly be using these cards to summon Stealth Kragen. Now this next card I've been looking forward to the most, and that is Abyss Keeper. This is a Link 2 Fish Monster. Any two water monsters can be used to link this monster, and it can't be linked away the turn that it is summoned. This card allows you to play through additional interruptions. For example, if your Leaf Fish gets negated and you happen to have Coelacanth in your hand, then you can just summon Abyss Keeper and use it to special summon Coelacanth from your hand. Now the meta is full of one card combos, so in order to keep up, we'll have to have at least a two card combo. We will be using Mermaid Shark, Right Hand Shark, and Deep Sea Diva to special summon another water monster in order to link into Abyss Keeper. So all of these cards can be considered one card Abyss Keepers. And if you find any more one card Abyss Keepers, share them in the comments below. Well, Coelacanth can tribute another fish to negate any cards that target it. This means your opponent will have to stop you before Coelacanth hits the field. Mermaid Shark is actually pretty interesting. If you normal summon this card, you can add any level 3, 4, or 5 fish monster to your hand. You can replace it with Abyss Keeper. Abyss Keeper can then special summon itself, replacing itself with Crystal Shark. And now you can link into Abyss Keeper. You still have 5 cards in your hand, so this makes Mermaid Shark a free Abyss Keeper. And Abyss Keeper then special summons a fish from your hand. You use it to summon Coelacanth. Coelacanth then discards that Crystal Shark from your hand. The Crystal Shark discard cost is no cost at all. Using this example, we can summon one Synchro Monster with Coelacanth. We can also then special summon a rank 4 Egg Z Monster with two level 4 fish. We can then use Crystal Shark to target one water monster and then special summon itself to then Eggsy summon into another Stealth Kragen. Next up is Electric Jellyfish. Using Jellyfish, you can send one Yumi from your hand, deck, or face up field to the graveyard. Then you can special summon one water monster from your hand. When your opponent activates a monster effect or spell card or effect while Yumi is on the field, you can quick effect negate that effect. Then you can make this card gain 600 attack and defense. Now Jellyfish is one card to summon Coelacanth from the hand. The downside is that it requires a Yumi Field spell to be added to your deck as a Garnet. So in this example, we use Electric Jellyfish to special summon a Water Monster from the hand, but we go for Leafish instead of Coelacanth. If we go for Coelacanth and our opponent has an Ash Blossom, they can simply negate it. But if we special summon the Leafish, the Leafish sends a fish to the graveyard, but if our opponent has an Ash Blossom, they will likely use it on the Leafish. So at this point, you can either Eggsy summon into Dugaris to special summon Coelacanth from the graveyard, or you can Link summon it into Abyss Keeper. In this next example, we use Abyss Keeper to add Leafish to our hand. 
We then use electric jellyfish to special summon leaf fish from the hand. We can use leaf fish to send coelacanth to the graveyard. If you already have a coelacanth in your hand, then you can just send crystal shark or left hand shark to the graveyard. Now let's assume you don't have a coelacanth in your hand, then you can just simply exe summon into Bahama shark using your jellyfish and leaf fish. Detach the leaf fish to summon the totally awesome. Now, if you made it this far, then your opponent doesn't have a Nibiru or Hand Trap, otherwise they would have used it by now. So you can link away your Toad and Bahamut Shark into Abyss Keeper. Now, this only works if you have a fish in your hand. Abyss Keeper starts Chain Link 1, and Toad is on Chain Link 2. Toad adds a Coelacanth to your hand, and then Abyss Keeper special summons Coelacanth from your hand. So here's another combo line to get Coelacanth onto the field. This one uses Leafish and Abyss Shark. We'll use Leafish to send Coelacanth to the graveyard. Then we'll special summon Abyss Shark. Using Abyss Shark, we'll add Gluttonous Greefeast to our hand. Then we'll link away our two monsters to bring our Greefeast to the field. Now this only works if your opponent has four cards in their hand. Greefees can special summon a fish, sea serpent, or aqua monster from your graveyard with a level equal or lower to the number of cards in your opponent's hand. Greefees then special summons a level 4 from the graveyard. And then we can secret summon into Monoceros, allowing us to bring our Coelacanth to the field. All these new cards from Cosmic Ocean add a variety of new combo lines and new ways to bait hand traps. Here are some replays to show off these new combos using a Coelacanth deck. So in this replay, we're up against Branded Despia. They use their Polymerization and we chain Max C. They summon their Masquerade, so they will not be taking the Maxi challenge. We do get a Gamma Seal added to our hand. And we will be tributing that Masquerade with Gamma Seal because we do not want to pay our taxes. They use Alibur to add Brandon in red to their hand and they set it in the back row and pass their turn. And here we top deck Forbidden Droplet, we Gamma Seal their Masquerade, and we normal summon right hand shark adding left hand shark to our hand. We get our Abyss Shark to add Christian Shark to our hand, they activate Branded in red. They're going for Guardian Chimera to destroy two of our cards, but we do have Forbidden Droplet, so we will chain Forbidden Droplet, sending our left hand shark to the graveyard, negating that Chimera. Now we will summon our rare fish. They bring back their Masquerade, but its effects do not work because Masquerade must be Fusion Summoned for its effects to work. We then use Bahamut Shark to grab Totally Awesome out of the deck on our fifth summon, so if they do have a Nibiru, we will be able to play through it. We use our Foolish Goods to add Coelacan to our hand, tributing our two Water Monsters, keeping our Toad on the field. Abyss Keeper then Special Summon Coelacan from the hand. Coelacan then sends our Crystal Shark to the graveyard, and we do have a Crystal Shark and a Left Hand Shark in the graveyard, so we will be able to extend twice to bring our Left Hand Shark onto the field, giving us a indestructible, cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect, Stealth Kragen, and our Crystal Shark giving us another Stealth Kragen. We destroy their Masquerade, banishing it, activating our Chengying to banish two more cards, and we go in for the kill. So in this replay, we're up against another Branded Fusion deck. We special summon two Water Monsters. We summon Bahama Shark to summon Totally Awesome. So here we could add Coelacanth to our hand, but the game has been pausing, so I assume my opponent might have a Nibiru, so we special summon Abyss Shark, adding Leaf Fish to our hand. And then just go into a Stealth Kragen and pass our turn. At the end of the turn, the opponent does use Thunder Dragon, so they did not have a Nibiru. The 
opponent goes straight into a lightning storm, destroying our back row, but an ice barrier and a graveyard is still good for this deck because it does protect our totally awesome and stealth Kragen from called by the grave. They activate their Albaz and we destroy it with Stealth Kragen. We want to save Totally Awesome for Brand Infusion. Instead, they go straight into the battle phase to get rid of Toad. Toad then adds Helican to our hand. Our opponent then goes straight for Colossus. They activate their Brand Infusion. And then go into Mirror Jade. Mirror Jade then banishes Stealth Kragen, and they get another Brand Infusion to add it to their hand. So we banish Ice Berry, it gets negated by Ash Blossom. So we then we use Monster Reborn to bring our Leaf Fish back onto the field. Leaf Fish sends Left Hand Shark to the graveyard, and we use this opportunity to Tribute Summon Coelacanth. Now we could have gone for Abyss Keeper to special summon Seelican from the hand. Abyss Keeper with Chenging would have allowed us to banish two cards, but tribute summoning Seelican is just funny for me. I don't know why. It's just it's it's hilarious. So we banish our Nettle, activating Chenging and our opponent scoops. So in this opening hand, we kind of do a misplay here. We could have sent the right hand shark as a cost for Forbidden Droplet before normal summoning our right hand shark, but we go in for that normal summon. Our opponent activates their Mist Valley. We send the right hand shark as a cost, negating Mist Valley and adding left hand shark to our hand. We then add Coelacan to our hand, right hand shark and left hand shark special summon, and we link both way for Abyss Keeper. Abyss Keeper special summon Coelacan. We activate Coelacan's effect. We Synchro Summon Chenging, and it seems like people really don't like Chenging. So in this replay, we don't have combo for Coelacan, but what we can do is Normal Summon Red Hand Shark, add Leaf Shark to our hand, use Abyss Shark to add Crystal Shark to our hand, and then just go into a Stealth Kragen. Set our Forbidden Droplet and Ice Barrier on the field and pass. Our opponent does have a Duster. But the Ice Bearer is protecting us from Call by the Grave, so our opponent's playing Evil Twin. Against Evil Twin, you want to destroy the Link 2 that tries to special summon the other Link 2. But they do stop us from doing that with Forbidden Droplet. They then link into Nightmare Unicorn, shuffling our Kragen into the deck. We do have an out to this Link 4 with our Game of Seal. They try to prevent us from banishing cards, so we chain our Ice Barrier. We use Ice Barrier to add Coelacan to the hand, and now we Game of Seal their Link 4. We Special Summon Red Hand Shark from the Graveyard, Special Summoning Sea Nettle from the hand. We Eggsy Summon into Bahamut Shark, and this is to bait our opponent's back row. We then normal summon the left hand shark, linking into our Abyss Keeper. Coelacan flops onto the field like Tilapia, and our opponent scoops. Here we're up against a shark's deck. We send the left hand shark an Ice Barrier Trap card as a cost for Forbidden Droplet. Use Ice Barrier to add Tremora to our hand. Tremora then special summons Coelacan. We activate its effect. We go into a Bahamut Shark in order to get a Leaf Fish in the graveyard, summoning the Totally Awesome. And then Synchro Summoning into Monoceros, bringing our Gluttonous back from the graveyard. We then Link Summon into Marinsis an enemy. We Synchro Summon into Chenging. Marintis and Enemy brings our right hand shark back from the graveyard, and our left hand shark special summons itself to bring us an indestructible Stealth Kragen. Stealth Kragen then pops their Nash Knight, sending Crystal Shark to the graveyard. We then banish the Leaf Fish to draw a card, and we use Chang'ing's effect to banish the Crystal Shark and the Stealth Kragen. And what I really love about this deck is that with Forbidden Droplet, this deck plays well going first or second. I've had a 
surprising amount of success with the deck in casual duels. I've won 18 out of the last 20 games. And today I'm uh, currently on a 13 win streak. Looking at the deck list here, this is basically a Sharks Water Egg Z deck. The only difference is we've replaced Buzzsaw Shark with Right Hand Shark. We have Coelacanth instead of an Egg Z Remora. Though I do think you can add Egg Z Remora to this deck. There will be times where you wish you could use Abyss Shark to add Egg Z Remora to your hand. This deck also has a Crooked Cook in the deck. Using Right Hand Shark and any other level 4 water monster, you can Egg Z Summon into Crooked Cook and make it Crooked Cook that cannot be destroyed by battle and it's unaffected by other card effects. The only practical way to get rid of it would be a Kaiju. You can use Crooked Cook to stall until you add a Forbidden Droplet to your hand. So uh, these are spicy cards that you might consider adding to the deck. Troll and Lock Bird is pretty good against Florence Rees and Max C, which this deck doesn't seem to be that good against. We also have Tuna. Beautiful Princess can search for Leaf Fish, allowing us to start our combos. Beautiful Princess is the biggest thing you can add to your deck to add increased consistency, but it comes at a cost of being very susceptible to Ash Blossom. Next up is Eggsy Remora. This card is really good as an extender. You don't always want to add Coelacanth. Sometimes all you need is a Remora to get three Eggsies on the field. And next up is Pot of Desires. The Banish cost doesn't hurt us that much, and being able to draw two cards who wouldn't benefit from that. It's also really good at baiting Ash Blossom, so it pairs really well with Butuniful Princess. And next up is Whitefish Salvage. This card can target one fish in your graveyard and add it to your hand. You can use Leaf Fish to send either Abyss Shark or Coelacanth to the graveyard and then add it to your hand. If Whitefish Salvage is destroyed, you can take one fish from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it. Pretty cool if you go second and your opponent negates and destroys this and you just summon Coelacanth right onto the field. Next up is Super Poly. This card pairs really well with Stealth Kragan. You can turn your opponent's monsters into water with Stealth Kragan and just fuse them away into a Mud Dragon. And the discard cost of Super Poly and Twin Twisters isn't really that bad for this deck. Twin Twisters can also help us against back row heavy decks. Another useful card against back row heavy decks is Evenly Match. It's also pretty useful against decks that don't have trap negates like Florin Juries and Branded Despia. Next up is Gozen Match. This card prevents each player from controlling more than one attribute. So you can pair this up with Stealth Kragan, turning all monsters on the field to water, and so no player can summon monsters except water from now on. Now this card tends to be a bit too slow going second, so it doesn't see as much play in shark decks, but it can be pretty game breaking as this card when paired with Stealth Kragan can usually just win games. Although a shark seal the can't deck is pretty consistent, the end boards are not as great as a more synchro heavy deck. If you recall my Barrier Statue Stun variant of Coelacanth, which just turbos out Barrier Statue, then you know how devastating those end boards can be. Using some of the cards from Cosmic Ocean, we still have the same combo and same end board. We just added cards to the main deck to make it slightly more consistent. This deck tends to water like itself quite frequently, so I just removed Zeus and added Crooked Cook. I also added more right hand sharks. This card is a one card abyss keeper and it's also pretty useful when you resolve grass looks greener. And finally, half the deck can be negated by Ash Blossom using just one card. So your opponent's gonna have to have more than just an Ash Blossom to stop you from doing your combo. So for all you fish lovers out there, I hope you found inspiration that makes your water decks stronger and I'll see you all next time.